What's up YouTube? This is Chris with MusicCityDriver.com. I was um, making a quick video because I have been sort of uh, out of pocket recently. Um, I unfortunately had a family tragedy to deal with um, in North Mississippi and it actually, uh, I guess, affected me more than I expected it would and I really didn't feel like getting out to drive. Um, after, I guess, right before the 4th of July, I did not drive the 4th, did not drive the 5th, um, I did not drive that whole week and last weekend either. So I was I was down in the Memphis area. I probably could have driven if I really wanted to with Lyft um, and possibly even with Uber. I'm not really sure how that works, honestly, because I've never worked outside of Nashville with either one of them. So um, I know with Lyft, I could easily just turn on the app and start driving, but I don't know if Memphis is like that or not. So anyway, a couple of things have happened. Um, Uber rolled out more cities for tipping, but unfortunately not Nashville yet. Um, Uber also just recently increased our booking fee here in Nashville. Imagine that. Um, they increased their booking fee, but they yet have in to increase um, the mileage rate, um, the rate that they pay the drivers. So that's not really a surprise, unfortunately. But as of July the 8th, they increased the booking fee for Uber X by 35 cents and for uber excel by 50 cents so and as it says this change will not impact the amount you receive for each trip in other words we're giving ourselves a raise but guess what you still have the same rate that you had for i don't know how long now so anyway that's another thing uh the 180 days of change is supposedly still progressing um not sure if there's going to be any new rollouts on anything else for um the Nashville area at this time. I do know that the uh, if the passenger cancels um, before two minutes have elapsed since they requested the ride that you will get the cancellation fee for that. That is in Nashville now. Um, and also the timer um, is in Nashville now. So after two minutes after you arrive, after two minutes of waiting, you start to get paid for that. It does have a timer right on the app that shows you that. That has um, been added to the Nashville area. Like I said, the biggest biggest thing that I think people are waiting for is the tipping option. Um, but I'm really seriously not that convinced it's going to make that big of a change in revenue for drivers because I've seen shots, screenshots of the tipping option for Uber and from what I can tell it's the same old review screen that they have had. So in other words, they have to rate you uh, before they even get to the tips. Now, they do have 30 days after to do that, but I honestly, and I don't know, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe if somebody else has any um, any insight into this, it would be great. Um, sorry, I'm trying to log into my phone. Um, I'm sitting at the car wash right now, just washed my car for possibly driving later tonight and definitely tomorrow. But out of 1,000... 121 uber trips i have only received 371 ratings that's pretty pathetic really that's less than 30 percent um don't don't I'm not doing the math right now but that's a really paltry amount of ratings out of 1100 trips um i'm pretty sure i think lyft i, I feel like i have more ratings on lyft than i do uber but i've done 1121 trips i've only had 371 rated and out of that 371, 357 of those have been five stars. We've got a 4.95 rating right now. So um, I'm actually, like I said, not convinced that it will create a lot of revenue because a lot of people don't even rate their drivers to begin with. So if you don't rate your driver, you're not gonna see the tip option. So you probably want to, as I mentioned in a previous video, you may want to keep your tipping signs just to make people aware. When it does come around, I'm expecting it will hit us into July as they, as they um, released on the 180 day, 80 days of change. Um, some other cities, like I said, have gotten it, but we have not yet. Um, so keep your tip jars, keep your signs, etc. You may want to get rid of the tip jars after they implement the electronic uh, tipping option just because you don't want to really carry cash if you don't have to. But I suspect that there will be a lot less tipping than people think. And that's unfortunate, but I think it's true. Um, Lyft has had tipping in the app for so long that just about everybody knows 
and they automatically do it. So, but Uber's going to take them some time for that to sink into people. Um, and like I said, if they don't rate already, um, if Uber does not do anything else to force them to rate you, um, then they're not going to see the tip option and they're not going to tip you. So anyway, that's my spiel. Um, like I said, this is the, uh, Wednesday up July the 12th. And I'm just going to start getting back to it myself, um, hoping that I can make some money because being off those couple of weeks kind of put a little dent in the finances. Hoping to be able to get back out there and hit it hard. I do feel a little more refreshed, um, even with the dealing with the grief um, from the family grief, from the family tra tragedy that I had happen. Um, having some time to just binge watch some Netflix and just chill out and just not drive and not do anything for the past week and a half or so has kind of recharged my batteries a bit and I'm hoping I can uh, take it through the rest of the summer into the fall um, with a renewed uh, drive so no pun intended but uh, if you guys uh, thank you very much for watching this um, I will hopefully have some more videos soon um, I've been out of the game for a little bit like I said I've heard lots of tales of people having some weird problems lately. Um, so I'm interested to see if the Nashville landscape has changed any. But anyway, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. The usual spiel. Uh, watch some of my other videos if you have any um, questions about the Nashville area. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer, please put in the comments below. If there's anything that you want to know about the Nashville area with Uber or Lyft, just let me know. If I don't know the answer right away, I will be certain to look it up for you and find the answer. Thank you once again for watching, and you guys have a great day, and drive safe.